Today, I'm gonna tell you what you are doing wrong as a leader. And it doesn't matter if we're talking about being a business or if you're a manager at your workplace, or even if you're just like a captain on a sports team. Leadership is the same across all industries. I want you to think about this first. Have you ever been doing a group activity where you were not the leader and the leader got mad at you because you did something wrong? And I can even be talking about like a workplace where they're your boss or your manager got mad at you. How'd that feel? My guess, probably pretty crappy. I think that the one thing that most leaders struggle with is taking accountability and taking extreme ownership in whatever happens in that group activity or the company or whatever you're talking about as a leader. When something goes wrong in my business, it is never my employee's fault. It is always my fault. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about something that recently happened in my business and how I took ownership and how it affected me. Recently, I just lost out on a deal. This was a small deal, so it was a realtor referral, but I still lost out on it. And here's the situation. A long time ago, one of my cold callers called a homeowner and they were ready to sell their home, but they preferred a realtor. So I talked to the homeowner, I referred them a realtor right away because they wanted a realtor to speak to. And I gave them a realtor and I trusted that realtor to follow up and eventually get the listing. Well, recently that homeowner just sold their home, but with a different realtor, not the one that I referred. And I was bummed about it. But I didn't blame anyone else about it. I didn't blame the realtor. I didn't blame my cold caller. I didn't blame my lead manager. It was my fault. And I immediately addressed it to my lead manager. He's the one that told me that we lost out on the deal. And I told him immediately that it was not his fault. It was entirely my fault. And I told him where I went wrong. And where I went wrong on this one was giving it to a realtor too soon. I should have made sure that the seller was fully ready to sell before ever handing it off to a realtor so that they could just list right away. In my opinion, I don't think I asked enough questions to make sure that that seller was fully motivated and ready to list their home before handing it off, which I should have. I also told my lead manager that it was my fault for also not vetting my realtors well enough to make sure that, that if they weren't ready to sell, that they would follow up and follow up and follow up until they got the listing. Or I could have assigned my lead manager to manage the follow up and follow up and follow up until they're ready to sell, then I could give them to a realtor. But I told him it wasn't his fault, it wasn't the realtor's fault, but it was entirely my fault. I took the full ownership for that failure and I let my lead manager know and he respected me because of it and he's excited to work for me because of it. Because when I took that ownership, he even took some ownership himself. He said, you know what, actually I could have done this instead. And what that made me realize is that as a leader, if you start at the top level and the leaders or the managers start to take ownership for all the actions, it creates a culture of taking accountability and taking responsibility. And it trickles down to your other members. Eventually, everyone in the company is gonna to wanna to take responsibility for their actions because they see the top level do it. You set the example by leading by example. Because here's what would have happened if I didn't take accountability and I blamed it and I pointed fingers and I said it was your fault or if it was the realtor's fault. Here's what would have happened. Let's say the same situation happened. My lead manager messaged me and he says, hey, we lost out on this deal. And imagine I told him instead of what I said, if I told him, this was your fault, you should have been following up more, it was entirely your fault. Imagine how he would have felt and imagine how he would feel moving forward, continuing to work for me. He would be terrified to make any mistakes and he would wanna be perfect. And he might even be afraid to give me feedback because he knows that if something goes wrong, I'm gonna blame him. So I'm happy I went the route that I did because I try to take extreme ownership in everything in my life. And I'm not perfect, but I do my best. Because if you do not take extreme ownership, you stop learning. And here's why. If something goes wrong in my company and I point the fingers and I blame other people, then the blame never goes to me and I never learn from it. I never identify what went wrong and why it went wrong so that I can prevent it in the future. I would have just pointed my fingers and said, it was your fault. But if you take all the blame yourself, you will constantly learn and then you will identify why things go wrong so that you can stop them from going wrong. And I think this is where most leaders mess up. Most leaders blame other people and they're afraid to take responsibility for themselves because it's uncomfortable, but they're really doing themselves a disservice in the long run. So if you want to be a better leader, whether you are a business owner, a captain of some sort, or a manager, or something where you have a leadership position, no matter how small, take ownership of your team's actions and your actions. Everything that happens on your team, whether it's good or bad, is your responsibility, it's your fault. And another quick tip, when the good things do happen, don't take responsibility for that. Give it to the team. Let your team know that it was their efforts that made them win, not you. Just take responsibility more so for the bad stuff because that's how you create a culture where people love to win with you and they love to work with you. 
So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below. But I'll see you at the next one.